It's a pleasure to welcome you all to this wonderful event. Uh, actually, I would like to apologize for the late. Uh, it was our fault. Um, the Spectrum is an exhibition organized by the students of Kalimbarti University, the scholars of ICCR. Uh, today we have four exhibitors here, and I'm going to name them. G. Dimutu Senaratna, Jagadish Swaran Keshavan, Pushparaj Sharmila, G.P.H. Chamila Prangani Kumari. And I would like to say that we feel really privileged to have our Venerable Sudham Matero, the former General Secretary of Mahabodhi Society of India, and Venerable Mahanwara Medhankar Matero, to be in charge of Sri Dharma Rajika Chaitya Vihar, the headquarters of the Mahabodhi Society of India. So, before commencing today's event, we would like to call upon Venerable Sudham Matero to give us the fantasy. Sen Gupta, 
the head of the printmaking and graphic department of RBU. Thank you very much for inviting us to this wonderful, wonderful exhibition that you have organized. And uh, all those, uh, including our patron Bante, and all those uh, who are the invitees here. So because uh, <coughs> time was getting delayed, I walked around and looked at this pictures so the children they had seen that I was doing that so uh, I was actually delighted to see the lovely uh, artwork that has been uh, done by these four skillful uh, artists when you are looking at the way this whole world is structured by mother nature with all these paintings of forests mountains, rivers, ponds, the sun and the moon and the other uh, galaxies, the sky, the greenery, the animals. The most beautiful of her painting is the man and the woman, the human being. And the best thing that in this art of human is the mind. The art of the mind is not to be contested. This moment there can be fire in the mind, a great fire, <laughs> then the brush can paint. On another kind, the mind can be in peace with love and compassion, which also the mind brush can paint. So this unique mind has been the one that our Lord Buddha has experimented with and has come to know to his own holy and noble and sacred self. And this mind that he has mastered without the help of anyone. He has conquered this mind. He has understood this mind for the reality of what it is. So much so that our Lord Buddha has been able to uh, show the particles in the mind and how it is broken into particles. Now we see this lovely picture. But can you see that there are millions of particles in that picture? Although you see the picture as a whole, as complete, you can see the nose, the eyes, the hair, the ear, the ring hair, the earring, the sitar or violin or whatever it is. But do you see the particles in it? Do you see that each and every particle is different? and that there was a beginning and an end in each of these particles. All those, although this picture is that, this picture is an illusion, is a maya, which, which is, you take the paintbrush and put it over it, it changes, yes or no? You can change it in a minute, just like this. The mind changes, the picture changes. So the art, is manifested in the mind and that manifestation is seen with the brush, the hand, the pencil, the <coughs> canvas and this canvas was white before, now it's not white. So you can see this is only a creation of the mind, an illusion. So that is what our Lord Buddha said, impermanent. Anicca, vayadamma, kaidamma. It is impermanent and it, it decays, it changes. It, uh, 
So then he said, Anatha, it is not self, it is not me, it is not mine, it is not myself. So although one can claim this is my, this I drew, it actually is finished. It is in the past, not in the present. I don't know whether you are understanding what I am telling you, but this is the vipassana I am talking. This is what is we call vipassana, the Buddhist teaching of vipassana. So this is how it is. So I wish all these lovely children and all those who are attending uh, this wonderful uh, cultural and arts program today that you give time for your mind to penetrate the myth and the illusion and come to see the reality. If you are able to see the reality for what it is, the truth for what it is, you will become the biggest and best painter that ever was to hold a paintbrush, which is the mind. And that the biggest painter is the mind. It can create and it can destruct. And even in creation it is a particle. Even in destruction it is a particle. Ultimately there is nothing. It is just empty. Shunya. You understood? Okay. May Buddha Bhagavan Asiva miss all of you. All the best to all of you. Yeah? And may you have all going well for you. All the success. Thank you, Pirvan Sadhanai. Dr. Paula Sambutta, we present all, all our special guests from Prabhupada's university, our university. So, ma'am, I invite you to address us and share, uh, share some ideas with you. So, I think uh, I must first apologize on behalf of the Vice Chancellor of our university and my colleagues in the Faculty of Visual Arts, uh, unfortunately none of them could come except for me. So I'm here to represent the university and the faculty. And foremost, I would like to congratulate all our students and uh, ICCR scholars from Sri Lanka. And uh, I would like to thank uh, ICCR for supporting their uh, studies here and uh, allowing them this opportunity to spend a few years here with us receiving an education. Um, so every year we receive a fair contingent of students from Sri Lanka and uh, many of them uh, perform very well and uh, go on to uh, you know back to their own countries and I know that they become uh, practicing artists, teachers of art, practitioners in their own right and they do very well for themselves and you know render us proud at the university for what we have been able to teach them. Um, I personally have uh, been to Sri Lanka three times and uh, I have a great uh, love for the country. I have many Sri Lankan friends, uh, fellow artists, and uh, I have traveled exhaustively in uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, the only bit that I still have left to do is Jaffna on the top, which still remains, but they say that you must always leave something so that you go back again. So uh, I always look forward to going back uh, there. Um, it is an extremely beautiful country, very, very close to nature, uh, beautiful art and architecture, uh, very great architects from Sri Lanka, and history and heritage of uh, architecture, temple architecture, <coughs> long history of art, including uh, the Buddhist heritage, of course. So I'd just like to say to the students here this evening that this is the beginning of a long journey uh, towards uh, 
becoming artists, art practitioners, art teachers, and so much more. This is only the beginning. It involves long years of practice, of rigor. What we give you here is an education which, equip, which teaches you the basics. It does not make you an artist. It teaches you the basics. To become an artist is a long journey. And um, as our very revered guest here today was saying, that it is a question of imbibing many things. And one of the greatest teachers is, of course, Mother Nature herself. And, uh, and life itself. So you must always keep yourself open. You have done many things here. I walked through the exhibition. There's a wide variety of work. And uh, I can imagine that uh, you are constantly receiving many inputs uh, as students in a foreign country. Um, but slowly, as you advance, you must learn to train the mind, you must learn to uh, focus, you must learn to zero in on what interests you. And it is the mind. The, the hands are only the instruments of the mind. But it is the mind that you must hone, it is the mind that you must train, it is the mind that will tell the eye uh, how to see and how to create. So uh, you, have, you have to learn these lessons slowly as you go along. But it's a wonderful effort. Um, I'm proud that you're our students. And I hope you will go on to doing much greater things. Many, many congratulations. And I hope the exhibition is a success, that you receive a lot of visitors and your friends and teachers from the university are able to come. Many congratulations and good luck. Thank you so much. So, I know that all of you are willing to see that what the spectrum is and what this is consists of. So I'm not gonna take uh, your valuable time more than this. And I make this time an opportunity to thank all of you for being here and it was a courage uh, as a student for us. Finally, uh, this is the time I invite our exhibitors to come forward. Okay, once again thanks all of you for being here with us and uh, this is Spectrum. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.